In this video, I'm gonna show you a cool way to play the pentatonic scale using harp harmonics. Coming up. Greetings, guitar friends. Welcome back to the channel. I'm RJ Ronquillo. If you're new here, thanks for joining me. So it's been a while since I've done a lick lesson video, but I have a great one for you today. What if I told you you could play the minor pentatonic scale just by barring one finger across the strings? Well, you can, and I'll explain it all to you as well as show you some interesting things you can do with it. Before we get started, if you're into these kinds of videos, don't forget to click subscribe and hit that bell icon to stay notified. This video is brought to you by Dan Electro and Source Audio. For this lesson, I'm using a new Dan Electro 64 XT guitar, a really great mix of vintage and modern appointments with the pickup combination and the Wilkinson tremolo. For effects, I'm plugged into the Source Audio Ventress dual reverb unit. It's got 14 different reverb engines fueled by dual 56-bit processors. It sounds amazing, and I'm using a, a plate reverb uh, for some nice ambient, vibey tones today. All right, let's dig into this lick. So I mentioned you could play a pentatonic scale on one fret with one finger. How, you might ask? Well, basically all of the notes of the minor pentatonic scale are contained on one single fret. I'm gonna show you this lick using the A minor pentatonic scale, but as always, you can easily move this to any key. It's just a matter of shifting your hands up and down the guitar neck. Let's take the A minor pentatonic scale that we all know and love. <laughs> Now, we can verify that the pentatonic scale notes lie on this one single fret. Obviously, all the notes that we're playing with our first finger are in this scale, right? But so are the other notes that we're playing with our third and fourth fingers here. And we can check that like this. So that second note, C, is found also here on the third string. And then this E note here is also found on the second string. And then we have A, the root, which is also found here and here. This D note we can find back down here. This G note is right here. And so on and so forth. So when I play this chord or these notes here, that's essentially an A minor pentatonic scale, just in a different order. Now that we know that the entire scale is on this one fret, we can actually emulate the ascending and descending scale by using harmonics and fretted notes. So a really quick bite of theory here. The notes of an A minor pentatonic scale are A, C, D, E, and G. And back to A if you want to do the whole octave. If we just look at this fifth fret, we have those exact notes uh, here in this pattern. A, C, D, E, G, A. So we're alternating strings here. Sixth, third, fifth, second, fourth, and first. Now, it doesn't sound like a minor pentatonic scale, but trust me, these are the same notes, uh, just in different octaves. Check it out. You hear that? Okay, so now with this knowledge, we can make it sound scalar by playing a harp harmonic every other note. What is a harp harmonic? Now, you may have heard this term when talking about the style of players like Lenny Bro, uh, Chad Atkins, Tommy Emmanuel. Maybe you've heard the term tap harmonics where you spank the note uh, 12 frets above the note that you're fretting like this. Eddie Van Halen. It's basically the same concept, but instead of tapping the harmonic, we pluck the harmonic by lightly touching the index finger right above the fret and plucking with our thumb in front of it. We can make this shape sound like a scale by playing a harp harmonic uh, or touch harmonic. Let's, we can call it touch harmonic. Every other note. So 
So remember, we're alternating between these strings. Six, three, five, two, four, one. And the first note that we play is going to be a harp harmonic or a touch harmonic. And every other note is also going to be a touch harmonic. So it goes like this. Harmonic, pluck your fretted note. Harmonic, pluck your fretted note. Harmonic, pluck your fretted note. Harmonic. Six, three, five, two, four, one, three. So that's harmonic, pluck, harmonic, pluck, harmonic, pluck, harmonic. It sounds similar to this. As if I was to fret the actual scale. This is a more unique way of playing it because uh, all the notes are ringing and we can reverse it. So we can go ascending and descending. So a good exercise would be to set a metronome to a pretty comfy tempo uh, in three, four time or six, eight time, and just go up and down the scale and gradually speed it up. Now I wanted to expand this past this last note, that harmonic, but unfortunately, obviously we ran out of strings. So my solution was to kind of fake one more string by fretting with my pinky way up here on the 10th fret. It's a little bit of a stretch, but that way we can make our last note the harmonic on the second string. So it would sound like this. Uh, because of the addition of this other fretted note on the 10th fret, you really have to practice coordination with fretting and unfretting that note so all the notes ring out clear. My advice is just to go slow until it becomes like a natural muscle memory type of movement. One of the cues that I use, hey, that rhymes. One of the cues that I use is right when I play the harmonic on the third string, I simultaneously fret my pinky down on the 10th fret. So when I'm ascending, as soon as I pluck that note, I put down my pinky. So, fret. And, uh, and the same cue works for when you're descending, when you have to unfret your pinky finger. Pinky. Pinky. So you get that, because you're alternating between fretting this note and that note. So do it slow. Unfret. So this is a cool lick that you could end a song with. could use fragments of the scale uh, in riffs or solos. All 
All right guys, some tips to leave with you are practice the slow with a metronome until it doesn't feel awkward because it is an unconventional way of playing, so it takes some time to get used to. But once you have it, it sounds beautifully harp-like. And also your first finger that you're fretting with might start to hurt a little bit uh, because we're not used to fretting a lot with this part of the finger. Uh, so if it does start to hurt or bother you, just take a break. Eventually, you'll get used to it. You might develop a little bit of a callus in this part. Oh, and for you more advanced players, if you want to try something, you can make this sound like a dominant seven type chord by raising the third string note up a fret and doing the exact same thing. So it would sound like this. Just keep in mind that the third string uh, harmonic will be up a fret as well. So it's not going to be straight across like the minor. It's going to be... Uh, what is that? This 18th fret. 18th fret harmonic on the third string. There you have it. I hope this lesson was cool. If it was, let me know down in the comments. Thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click that thumbs up. If you did not like this video, click that thumbs down twice. Show me what's up. Share it with the people you care about and also random strangers. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, gear demos, tutorials, tour vlogs, click that subscribe button. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you guys in the next video.